What if I told you that right now, an object from another star system is racing through our solar system, and it's headed straight across the orbital path of Mars? NASA says it's massive. Harvard says its orbit lines up suspiciously close with the red planet. And if you've been hearing whispers online that this interstellar visitor, named 3 I Atlas, could smash into Mars and trigger a planetary disaster, well, today we're digging into whether that terrifying claim is fact or fiction. So, first things first. What exactly is 3 I Atlas? Let's break down the name. The 3 I means it's the third known interstellar object ever discovered. The first was Oumuamua back in 2017. The weird cigar-shaped rock that got everyone speculating about alien probes. The second was 2 I Borisov in 2019, a much more comet-like visitor. And now we have 3 I Atlas, spotted in July 2025 by the Atlas Survey Telescopes in Hawaii. This thing is big. We're talking somewhere around 15 to 20 kilometers across. To put that in perspective, that's larger than the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. And unlike Oumuamua, which looked like a dry rock, 3i Atlas is behaving more like a traditional comet. It has a coma, a visible tail, and it's outgassing as it heats up near the sun. Sounds dramatic already, right? But the plot thickens when you look at its orbit. 3i Atlas isn't bound to our sun. It's on a hyperbolic orbit, which means it came from interstellar space, and after one quick swing through our solar system, it'll leave forever. When astronomers first tracked it, they noticed something strange. Its path takes it from beyond Jupiter's orbit, cutting across the plane of the solar system, and then swooping into a point about 1.4 astronomical units from the Sun. That's a little inside the orbit of Mars. And here's where things get juicy. That orbit just happens to line up extremely closely with Mars's orbit around early October 2025. In fact, orbital calculations show a minimum orbit intersection distance, or MOID, of only about 2.7 million kilometers with Mars. That's closer than many spacecraft flybys. Now, when the public hears close pass and Mars, the imagination runs wild. The internet exploded with claims like NASA warns Mars could be hit, or Harvard professor says interstellar comet on collision course. But what's really going on here? Let's pause here and consider the nightmare scenario. If a 20-kilometer-wide interstellar object did crash into Mars, it would be catastrophic. We're talking a crater hundreds of kilometers wide, seismic waves rocking the planet, and possibly ejecting debris into space that could even cross Earth's path later on. It would make the Chicxulub impact on Earth look small, so no wonder the phrase collision with Mars sounds terrifying. Add the fact that Avi Loeb, a well-known Harvard astrophysicist, has openly speculated about interstellar objects being alien technology, and you've got the perfect recipe for clickbait headlines. But here's the truth. While 3 I Atlas orbit does pass near Mars's orbit, the timing is off. Mars will be nowhere near the intersection point when the comet flies by. Instead, calculations show it'll pass about 30 million kilometers away from Mars around October 3rd, 2025. That's about 80 times the distance between Earth and the Moon. Close in cosmic terms, yes, but nowhere near an impact. So why do NASA and Harvard's names keep getting dragged into the drama? Let's unpack that. NASA's official stance is crystal clear. 3i Atlas poses no threat to Earth or Mars. Tom Statler, NASA's lead scientist for small bodies, put it bluntly in interviews. It looks like a comet, the evidence points to it being natural, and it poses no threat to Earth. NASA's trajectory models show the object staying at least 1.6 astronomical units from Earth at all times. That's about 240 million kilometers away. Its closest Earth approach will actually be in December 2025, when it's still about 270 million kilometers distant. In other words, you'd have to scale Earth up to the size of a pea and still miss it by several football fields. So if you've seen posts saying NASA warns of impact, that's misinformation. NASA is actually excited about the science opportunities here. Telescopes like Hubble and JWST are already tracking 3i Atlas, and even Mars orbiters plan to observe it as it passes nearby. Far from being worried, 
NASA is treating this as a once-in-a-generation chance to study a pristine interstellar comet. Now, Harvard. Avi Loeb. You've probably heard his name if you follow Space News. He was the one who suggested Oumuamua might have been an alien probe. With 3 i Atlas, he's been vocal again, pointing out how suspiciously well-aligned the comet's path is with Mars's orbit. In his writings, Loeb mentions that if, and this is a huge if, someone wanted to design a spacecraft to test human reactions, sending it near Mars would be a clever move. After all, Mars is where we've parked a bunch of rovers and orbiters. But here's the thing, even Loeb admits that a natural impact is impossible. He calculates that the comet would need an extra 10 to 15 kilometers per second of velocity change to actually hit Mars. For context, its natural outgassing speed is only about 0.4 kilometers per second. That's a factor of 100 too small. So when you see headlines like, Harvard warns comet could hit Mars, what they're really referring to is Loeb entertaining hypotheticals, not predicting a real impact. It's more of a thought experiment than a scientific forecast. Now, here's the part I personally find way cooler than the fear-mongering. The science. 3 I Atlas is only the third interstellar visitor we've ever caught. That makes it incredibly valuable. Unlike objects that formed in our solar system, this comet is carrying material from another star system. Frozen ices, dust, maybe even organic compounds that condensed billions of years ago around some alien sun. When it passes through, telescopes can study its composition, its isotopes, its tail structure, giving us clues about how other planetary systems form. ESA is planning to point its Mars orbiters, like Mars Express and the Trace Gas Orbiter, at 3i Atlas as it passes nearby. Imagine getting close-up data of an object that came from light years away. Meanwhile, JWST is looking in infrared, measuring the gases in its coma. Hubble's already got some gorgeous images. And ground-based telescopes are tracking its brightness curve, which will tell us about its size and rotation. So instead of Mars apocalypse, the real story here is humanity gets a free science gift from the stars. So why do scary headlines keep spreading? It comes down to three things. One, the comet is genuinely large and mysterious. Two, its orbit does look like it almost grazes Mars. Three, Harvard's Avi Loeb has a history of bold headline-grabbing speculation. Put those together, and you get sensational titles like NASA warns or Harvard predicts collision, even though neither institution has issued such warnings. It's the same pattern we saw with Oumuamua, a weird discovery, a bit of speculation, and suddenly the internet turns it into alien spaceship confirmed. Now, for fun, let's play the what-if game. If 3i Atlas somehow magically changed course and slammed into Mars, what would happen? Given its size, we're talking an impact energy thousands of times greater than the largest nuclear arsenal on Earth. The crater would be hundreds of kilometers wide. Dust would blanket the planet. Any hope for human habitats on Mars in the next few centuries would be toast. The blast might even throw chunks of Mars into space. Some of that debris could, in theory, cross Earth's orbit millions of years later. That's how far-reaching such an event could be. But, and this is key, orbital mechanics says, nope, nature isn't lining that up for us. So here's the bottom line. Yes, 3i Atlas is big. Yes, it's interstellar, which makes it rare and exciting. Yes, its orbit passes near Mars's orbit. But no, it will not hit Mars. NASA says so, ESA says so, even Avi Loeb says so. The actual flyby will be about 30 million kilometers away, which is a safe miss distance. If this mystery around 3i Atlas has got you curious, you'll definitely want to check out my other video where I break down its detailed properties and strange characteristics. I'll leave it linked right here on the screen. Go watch that next.